I was having a conversation and the person I was speaking with said something to me that I asked them like if I could correct it and I think it's something that we all kind of do from time to time and it's when we tell ourselves a story that's not technically factual and that story is for example there's no good man in this place there's no good woman in this place there's no good opportunities here so on and so forth and I asked this person you know can I is it okay if I correct you, you know, on that? Is, is it okay if I point out what I heard you say and share with you something that I've learned? And they said, yeah. And so I continue on with the conversation and basically explain that if you consistently are telling yourself this one story, this scenario, you're telling yourself, hey, this doesn't exist or this is not cool or they don't have this or I don't have this, your subconscious mind literally will do everything to ignore when it sees <laughs> things that are going right. You tell yourself that there's no true love, good women don't exist. You will literally, quite literally, pass over good women and good men because your subconscious mind is like, you told me this story, you told me this was what it is based on all of our experiences that we've accumulated. This is the story, this is what we're doing, this is life. And I think so many of us do this, we, in, in just in anything, it's like we, we complain and we, we grumble and we get all down and out and we just keep telling ourselves this 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 story but it's not true you haven't met every single person in the place you live you haven't met every single person anywhere except for maybe maybe possibly on your street or in your house you don't know every single human and so every time you say that to yourself i feel like you're blocking a blessing you're blocking an opportunity and i think we should really sit back and think about areas where we are saying these things to ourselves we just really have to tell ourselves a different story and i like challenge you i, I really challenge you to think about this in areas of your life where you're speaking these things and expecting it to be something different i wanted to come on real quick because i forgot to mention something this is actually a reason why i believe we self-sabotage is that we aren't in alignment with the person we want to be. We've told ourselves these stories, right, for so long that when a good person does come, so say, for instance, you are walking around somewhere in the city that you claimed had no good women or no good men, and then you go out and find a good man. Like, you literally talk to someone who is a good person. It's almost as if you have, like, a filter. I don't want to say rose-colored glasses because it's not rose-colored glasses. It would be like the opposite of that. You have this filter over yourself where you're literally denying or declining or literally sabotaging yourself into believing that this person isn't a good person because your subconscious believes that this that there are no good people. So if there are no good people in this city, then how could this person be a good person? I know it sounds so ridiculous, but if you study and look at your brain, that is quite literally how it ends up working out. And so that's why it's even more important to make sure you're telling yourself these stories and telling yourself these truths that I believe and I know that maybe right now I don't see this person. Maybe I don't, I've never met this person in the city I'm in, but I will one day. Or maybe I'll meet them in a whole nother place. But the point is not to not to tell yourself that it's not available when you don't know if it is. You don't know if it's available to you because you have not met all these people. And I wanted to say that because I know I didn't like uh, get to go in depth on that. Because I was kind of just, I've been just kind of doing these videos just like, just speaking. <laughs> just speaking, don't have my notes down. But that's one area where I believe that if you can improve upon the stories you're telling yourself and the, the programming that you have been instilled with, that you will be able to heal in a whole, like a beautiful, beautiful way. Yeah, so back to the rest of the video. And so I'm just challenging you to tell yourself a different story when you're going about life, when you're down and out. Cause even me, when I was going through or as I'm coming out of this mode of like being down and depressed, I keep telling myself a different story. Every day when I'm when I'm down or any day, any day that I'm down, I'll tell myself that story. You know, it could always be worse. The truth, it could always be worse. I mean, until you're dead, it's like pretty much it could always be worse, right? I was like, but it also could be much better. It could always be better. And I don't mean it in the sense of always chasing something and never being satisfied, but I just mean like the opposite is true too, that it can get better. And if you keep telling yourself that story, that it can get better, that there are opportunities, that I will find the dream person I want. I will figure out what my passion is. I will be able to do whatever that thing is. I believe that 
you will see things in a whole different light. Like I think truly you will see things in a whole different light. And that's it. Like that's the video as I always love to say. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always say that, but that's the video. And just remember that you write your story. No one else writes your story. And it's like the biggest, it's like the biggest encouragement, the biggest blessing, the biggest plot twist that you write your story so you always have control of that. Yep, that's all I have. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. With all my love, Lana. <laughs>